How do the enemy aircraft get their American nicknames, like the Russian Aircraft Badger, Blackjack, Bear, Frogfoot, Condor, or Candid and anything else? You may be interested to know about it. Well, the US military often uses unique nicknames for enemy aircraft to help identify them and differentiate them from friendly aircraft. And these nicknames are used by pilots and military personnel to refer to enemy aircraft more casually and less formally, and they can help to build morale and create a sense of camaraderie among troops, typically based on a combination of factors including the aircraft's appearance, performance, and the circumstances of its use. It all started in 1942 when Captain Frank McCoy of the Army Air Force was tasked with heading the Materiel Section of Army Air Force Intelligence for the Southwest Pacific. He felt and realized that the pilot would be confused by the enemy aircraft's name. So to deal with this the Tennessee native began giving them nicknames. Fighters got male names, bombers and other planes got female names and transports were given names that started with the letter T. Training planes were named for trees and gliders for birds. The idea was a good one, and it began to spread across the entire Pacific. Soviet MiG-29 fighter jet being named Fulcrum, because its wings resemble the shape of a fulcrum, or the Soviet MiG-21 being nicknamed Fishbed, because its shape resembles that of a fish. Other nicknames are based on the aircraft's performance or tactics, such as the Soviet Su-25 ground attack aircraft being nicknamed Frogfoot, because of its ability to operate from rough unpaved runways, which made it resemble a frog's oversized feet. The Soviet MiG-15 was nicknamed Midget Mustang because of its small size and its resemblance to the World War II era P-47 Thunderbolt, which was nicknamed Jug or Mustang. The Soviet MiG-25 was nicknamed Foxbat because of its distinctive shape and the fact that it was first sighted by American pilots in the late 1960s, which coincided with the release of the movie Fox and the Hound. The Soviet Tu-95 Bear was nicknamed Bear because of its large size and its distinctive shape, which resembles that of a bear. The Soviet Su-24 Fencer was nicknamed Fencer because of its distinctive shape and its ability to operate from short runways which made it resemble a fencer's stance. The Chinese J-20 was nicknamed Mighty Dragon because of its large size and its advanced stealth technology, which makes it difficult to detect on radar. The Iranian F-14 was nicknamed Rhino because of its large size and its distinctive shape which resembles that of a rhinoceros. In some cases enemy aircraft received nicknames based on popular cultural references of the time. During the Vietnam War the North Vietnamese MiG-21 jet fighter was called the Fishbed by NATO forces, which was a direct translation of the aircraft's Russian name. However, some American pilots humorously referred to it as the Balalaika, a stringed musical instrument associated with Russia. Sometimes nicknames can also draw inspiration from historical events or figures. For example, the German Focke-Wulf FW-190, a versatile fighter plane in World War II, was occasionally referred to as the Butcher Bird by Allied forces, likely due to its reputation for being a formidable opponent in combat. It's important to remember that American nicknames for enemy aircraft are specific to the United States Armed Forces, and may differ from nicknames used by other countries or within different military contexts. These nicknames often serve as a way to quickly identify and communicate about enemy aircraft during combat operations, contributing to effective military coordination and situational awareness.